हेलो लर्नर्स नमस्कार आई एम प्रज्ञा वेलकमिंग यू इन योर यूट्यूब चैनल इंग्लिश सीकर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट पोएम ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ एंड दैट्स टाइटल इज माय मदर एट 66 दिस पोएम इज कंपोज्ड बाय एन इंडियन पोइट पोइटेस कमला दास हु वाज बोर्न इन मालाबार केरला इन नाइनटीन शी इज रिकग्नाइज एज वन ऑफ इंडियाज फॉरमोस्ट पोइट्स her works are known for their originality versatility and the indigenous flavor of the soil kamla das has published many novels and short stories in english and malayalam under the name madhav kutti i mean in malayalam she took a pen name and that name was madhav kutti some of her works in english includes the novel alphabet of lust who which was published in 1977 a collection of short stories padmavati the harlot and other stories published in 1992 in addition to five books of poetry she is a sensitive writer who captures the complex subtitles of human relationship in lyrical idioms in my mother at 66 kamla das comments on the feelings of pain and anguish one feels uh, for the aging parents there is a signal thread of thought there are some observations of the real world around but they are connected with the main idea the whole poem is in a single sentence punctuated by commas commas so this is the main Uh, concept or you can say the poetic device of this that this poem is composed in a complete sentence and the punctuation for punctuation the commas are used in this poem so let's see the explanation and then center idea of the poem so let's start we will see the explanation of the poem so the poem starts i mean the opening lines are driving from my parents home to cochin last friday morning i saw my mother beside me doze open mouth her face ashen like that of a corpse so the poet had gone to visit her parents home near cochin she had been returning home last friday when on her way to the airport she noticed her mother sleeping beside her in the car the mouth was open i mean her mouth was open the mother's mouth was open and her face was pale and lifeless just like a dead body okay let's see the next lines and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked out of the young trees sprinting the merry children spalling out of their homes so in these lines the poet was alarmed by the sudden realization that the old age had crept under her mother it was a reality she found hard to accept to take her attention away from the disturbing thought she looked outside the car because the car was moving the young green trees appear to be running in the opposite direction she also saw a group of children rushing out of their home to play all this probably reminded her of her childhood when her mother was young the young sprinting trees represents how fast time had flown by the children represents youth which was full of life and energy both the young trees and the children presented a sharp contrast to the old and ill mother uh, sitting beside her the next lines are but after the airport's security check standing a few yards away i looked again at her worn pale as a late winter's moon so here the poet says that the young children and trees were able to divert her thoughts away but after reaching the airport and passing through security check the poet again looked at her mother who was standing a few yards away from her her mother looked lifeless and dull like a late winter's moon which cannot be seen clearly because of mist and fog and the concluding lines are and felt that old familiar at my my childhood sphere but all i said was see see you soon amma and i did was smile and smile and smile so here the explanation may be once again she was pained to see her mother 
in this condition as she was going away and leaving her mother her old familiar pain her childhood fear that she would lose her mother suddenly came back to her so she tried to hide her emotions behind her smile she did not want to reveal her feelings to her old mother and bade her farewell with a smile she gave hope to her mother and herself by saying that they would meet again and kept on smiling so this is the explanation if i will see a poem i mean this poem in a glance so we can say that in this poem the poet was driving uh, from her parents home to cochin airport last friday morning her mother was sitting beside her she was 66 old, years old the old lady was dozing her mouth remained open her face looked pale and uh, faded it was gray like ash it looked lifeless like a dead body the lifeless and faded face of her mother pained her heart the old lady seemed to be lost in her own thoughts the poet turned away her attention from her mother and looked outside the world outside was full of life and activity the young trees seemed running fast the children looked happy while moving out of their homes when they were at the airport they had to undergo a security check the poet was standing a few yards away from her mother she looked again at her mother she felt deeply sad look at her colorless lifeless and pale face of her mother her face looked faded like the late winter's moon which had lost its shine and strength this aroused the old familiar act of the poet's heart her childhood fear overpowered her again however she controlled herself she appeared to be normal she scattered a smile on her face while saying goodbye to her mother she wished to see her old amma again so this was you can say the central idea of the poem or the main summary of the poem now we will discuss about the poetic devices in this used in this poem so the very first simile is used then next repetition personification metaphor images and symbols and specific features of the poem i will also tell you so the very first we will see that where the poet use simile so her face ashen like that of a corpse worn pale as win- late winter's moon so in both lines simile figure of speech is used if we will talk about the repetition so in the concluding line of the poem smile and smile and smile here repetition figure of speech is used if i will talk about the personification so young trees sprinting here i mean you can see the transferred epithet too or uh, so the personification is here Uh, in it the lifeless trees is just expressed as human beings metaphor is used and for metaphor m- the line is merry children is spelling out of their homes so here merry children is spelling out of their homes in this line the metaphor figure of speech is used if i will talk about images and symbols so you can say that uh, doze open mouth so these words are just portraying a imagination or a picture in front of your eyes when you are just looking doors or open the mouth so you can cap- you are capable to imagine that so image images and symbols are used here if i will talk about the specific feature of the poem so we can say the entire poem is composed in a single sentence punctuated only by commas which indicates that a single thought runs from the beginning to the end so this is the special feature of this poem just that this poem is not divided into many full stops it is it is a whole i mean it is a whole sentence it, this poem is in one sentence you can say so if you have any other queries related to this poem so you can note down you can write down in comment box further i will try to satisfy your that query too Till then, stay connected and stay tuned. Thank you.